in this class we are going to discuss about uh, introduction to encoder as well as 4 by 2 encoder first let's see what is encoder encoder is a combinational circuit that accepts 2 power n input lines out of which only one input line is activated at a given time and produces n output lines so encoder means it is a combinational circuit we know what is a combinational circuit the output depends only on the present input encoder accept 2 power n input lines out of which only one input line is activated and it produces n output lines n output lines uh, let us see the block diagram for the encoder block diagram for the encoder so encoder encoder accepts 2 power n input lines and it produces n output lines so encoder is a combinational circuit that accepts 2 power n input lines and it produces n output lines so 2 power n input lines are encoded into n output lines so encoder means it is a reverse operation of the decoder we know what is decoder so decoder means it accepts n input lines and produces 2 power n output lines whereas encoder means it accepts 2 power n input lines and produces n output lines now let us discuss here about uh, 4 by 2 encoder so let n is equal to 2 then 2 power 2 cross 2 if n is 2 then 2 power 2 cross 2 so uh, we have 4 input lines and 2 output lines so this is the block diagram of the 4 by 2 encoder so it accepts 4 inputs such as a0 a1 a2 a3 and produces 2 outputs such as y0 and y1 now let us see the truth table here so here the inputs are a3 a2 a1 a0 where a3 is the most significant bit a0 is the least significant bit whereas outputs are y0 y1 and y0 is the output suppose if the inputs are 3001 so that means if a0 is activated if a0 is activated and remaining three inputs are inactivated then it produces 00, 0 as the output suppose if the inputs are 0, 0, 0010 0, so that means a1 is activated so remaining three are inactivated then it produces output as 0, 01 suppose if the inputs are 0, 0100 0, so that means a2 is activated whereas remaining inputs are 0 then the output is y0 10 is the output next if the inputs are 1300 that means if a3 is activated and remaining inputs are 0 then the output is 11 now let us evaluate logical expressions let us evaluate the expressions so what is y1 and what is y0 let us observe y0 column here so in y0 we have two ones here so what is second one here the second one is 1 when a1 is 1 so y0 equal to a1 plus and we have one more one so here y0 is 1 when a3 is 1 so plus a3 so y0 equal to a1 plus a3 so likewise y1 is equal to here y1 is 1 when a2 is 1 so a2 plus next y1 is 1 when a3 is 1 so a2 plus a3 so here y0 equal to a1 plus a3 so y1 equal to a2 plus a3 now, now let us see the logical circuit diagram so here we require four input lines a3 a2 a1 and a0 so what is the formula for y0 y0 equal to a1 plus a3 so this is a1 input line this is a3 input line just we are performing some more operation so this is nothing but y0 what is the formula for the y0 a1 plus a3 next what is the formula for y1 a2 plus a3 so this line represents a3 this line represents a2 so simply perform the r operation so y1 equal to a2 plus a3 so this is about introduction to encoder as well as 4 by 2 encoder in the next video we will discuss about 8 by 2 8 by yeah if if we have three input lines so then 8 by 3 so in the next video we will discuss about 
எயிட் பை த்ரீ என் கோடு